Landfill gas plant operators control automated processes that convert methane gas from landfills to fuel used to generate electricity. If you have a mechanical aptitude, enjoy analyzing information and working outdoors, you may be interested in this occupation. We spoke with a landfill gas plant operator to extract the specifics of the job. Hi, my name is Ken Tu. I'm a landfill gas plant operator. My job is to control the plant so that it removes the methane gas from the landfill. Uh, the methane gas comes from the decomposition of uh, waste products and methane is actually 21 times more harmful to the atmosphere for the greenhouse gases than carbon dioxide. There are different ways of uh, removing the uh, problem of the methane. Uh, one is to use a flare stack to burn off the methane but uh, what we've chosen to do is actually use it in gas generators. The generators produce 4.8 megawatts of power, and that's enough to light up 4,600 homes. Usually my shift starts in the morning at about 8 a.m., and it's uh, composed of uh, checking the computers to make sure uh, there aren't any alarms. Then I have a checklist that I go through, and basically it's physically walking through the plant and uh, making sure all the uh, readings are where they should be. And uh, if I identify any problems, then that's when I have the opportunity to, to fix them and keep the plant running. The generators themselves run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so we're uh, ensuring that they've got enough uh, oil and coolant and uh, everything's working on, on those units. Once the rounds are done, it might be report writing, uh, gathering data for reports, and um, safety meetings. and. Uh, also, if we have to, we'll go out into the field and make sure that the, the pipeline's functioning properly and flowing well. Well, the gas plant itself is located uh, at the landfill. It's about a kilometer away from the actual burial site, and that's where the pipeline comes into play. Uh, the training I did take was through a technical institute. It, um, it gave me a diploma that uh, gave me training on processing and uh, machinery and uh, familiarity with uh, reading blueprints and troubleshooting, and a lot of the training is, is provided on-site as well. For safety training, we've, we've gone through a few different programs. We're, we're doing H2S Alive, uh, confined space entry. Uh, we're, we're doing uh, WIMIS, MSDS, and uh, we're also trained on the equipment that we use on-site. For PPE, we do wear steel toe boots, uh, fire-resistant coveralls, safety glasses, and hard hats. And if we're doing any mechanical work, then we'll be wearing gloves. Tooling, we, we have uh, electrical meters, we have uh, gas analyzers, basic hand tools to do some mechanical work. Heavy equipment wise, we have uh, skid steers, excavators, forklifts that uh, we use in the field. I guess what we uh, begin with is uh, what we look for is uh, uh, an individual with uh, some sort of technical trade uh, background. The second thing that we would look for is, uh, I guess, personality fit. So you need to be able to be self-motivated. You have to have uh, good time uh, management skills. I think with a position like this, if you're adaptable and you're willing to learn, uh, then the sky's the limit. One of the opportunities I see is uh, moving in, in from the operation side of things into more of the management side of things. The reports that have to go out go to uh, government agencies and they have to be accurate and uh, complete. And uh, as an operator, you get a, a feel for where this data is coming from and whether it's accurate and uh, it's just the next step. I think the most satisfying thing is, is being uh, in control of what I do during the day. Um, if, if I need to operate heavy equipment outside, I'll be outside. Uh, if I'm if I'm working on some equipment, I'll be indoors, and it's basically up to me to prioritize what needs to be done, and uh, I'm, I have freedom to go do that. The garbage doesn't go away. It's, it's always going to be with us, so there's always going to be a place for uh, a landfill gas plant operator. I love what I do, and uh, whether it's operating equipment or uh, doing some services, gathering data, 
and uh, the, the freedom of the job is uh, a bonus and that's why I enjoy it. Landfill gas plant operators may come from a variety of education and training backgrounds. Additional safety courses may also be required. Prior to enrolling in an education program, contact associations and employers in this field to investigate education options and employment possibilities. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and learn about related occupations, like field production operator and gas plant operator. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.